how to start learning Python for beginners. So I'm going to dive into a conversation I had with one of my students recently about going through Python fundamentals and how it feels boring, but you still have to do it because it's necessary. I'm going to talk about when will things become exciting for you, why it's so important to do Python fundamentals, even if it feels boring as you're learning them because everyone wants to build real projects and work on real things but before you can do that you need to lay out the building blocks and these building blocks are python fundamentals but also don't stress it and take a break if you need to nothing is really going to go wrong if you're going to chill for a second and take a break in fact if you will force yourself too much you're just gonna make mistakes and not gonna get anywhere and you will end up wasting time i'm gonna talk about a real project task that i usually give to my students from a real project that i've done myself so that you can get some kind of insight into how things are really going on and what type of tasks you can practice on of course anytime if you feel like you're struggling you can reach out to me and send me a message with your situation if i will see that i can help you somehow i will respond to you and in the end i want to talk about this super important principle called the compounding effect that many people ignore when they start to learn python so let's get into the video and talk about these things I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <clears throat> I think you're making, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, no worries. I'm the same. So. Yeah. <laughs> you're progressing. I can see progress. This is a bunch of tests and this took you how long? When Three did you start hours, this? Yesterday. I started it yesterday. I will say like in the afternoon, um, I had some breaks and I was like starting to think, okay, what am I going to test? But I actually didn't like write anything. It was at night, around like 8.30, 9 p.m. that like I actually started doing this until 12.30, 12.40 probably that I didn't stop. Yeah, that's one day. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's I good. mean, in the afternoon I didn't, do, I didn't do much. Like it was mainly at night, I will say. Mm -hmm. Good, that's good progress. I, I can see development in you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not giving up. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm like literally trying to like continue and well like yes at some point i hope that like if one of our calls you'll be like yes and i use everything correct but you don't have to change anything it's gonna come to you slowly slowly over time yeah, yeah yeah exactly exactly and it will come and also the most painful or most boring thing you already went through that which is like fundamentals it's like boring it's nothing interesting you're not really building anything and, and now you're starting to build real things like the survey and report code, this is a real thing. And these tests, that's also a real thing. And combining all of that together, you're building something real that's, I can tell you how I came to coming up with this exercise was that I used to work for a startup company that was about uh, pets and doing a survey and generating a report for pets. And I needed to write this type of code to generate the report. That was actually part of a real project. You will move forward and I will give you more and more real situations and it's going to become more interesting to you or at least it should become more interesting to you. And then personally for me, and I hope for you as well, when you work on real things, it's interesting. It's exciting. You're not doing anything like in theory, but you're practically building something real and useful and then then it's interesting so yeah i think you went through the hardest part the the most boring part already so you just need to keep going and you will see how it becomes more interesting and you will be able to build more real things for yourself and i look forward to it <laughs> like i mean i know that i'm still new and well i still have a lot a lot to learn but I'm looking forward to like that time where building things won't be that complicated to me anymore. It will all start feeling more of like like a game. I don't know how to explain it. Like that's how I see it. So that's why I like it. So yes. Yeah, cool. You need to make the boring stuff interesting to you. You need to come up with 
creative ways how you can make yourself build habits for example a habit of daily learning python fundamentals for an hour for two hours for three hours make it a habit and make it feel like you're doing a game and if you will implement this type of mindset you will automatically end up doing the compound effect that i want to talk about at the end of the video but before we get into that let's talk about why it's so important to also take breaks whenever you feel like you're tired and just start to make more and more mistakes i'll work on that then but i'll make sure to sleep a lot today <laughs> at least <laughs> because honestly like i can see how like not sleeping well affects me so yeah yeah first thing first will be to like don't ever like stay up until like 1 a.m trying to solve something that i was coding last night also until 12 maybe it wasn't 1 a.m but something before that i stopped but i was fine i fixed my it problems wasn't 1 a.m. i mean it was 12 30 or 12 40 but like little close to 1 a.m it was late either way yeah it's fine you can do that but you need to catch these moments when it makes sense and when it's like you're just <laughs> diminishing returns you're not doing anything you're just making mistakes then you need to walk away no yes 100 percent. well at least i am now happy and <laughs> that like of course well i need to take a different approach but at least some of the things that i did are okay yeah to wrap it up just take a break if you need to there's nothing wrong with taking a quick break and coming back to working on python fundamentals the next day nothing is gonna happen have a good night's sleep and come back to it the next day i fixed so many mistakes so many problems just by doing that taking a break and coming back to my problems the next day suddenly you see the solution right away and wonder why you didn't see that the last night it happens all the time and on this note let's talk about the compound effect so i've been preaching some good books on this channel for a while now but i don't think i've mentioned that you shouldn't be reading these books like sitting down and actually reading them the best thing that you can do is when you commute somewhere when you're on a road or going somewhere stop listening to music listen to some books that i've recommended and one of the books that i've recommended you can listen to is compound effect you can find this book on audible and probably somewhere else online have it in your headphones and listen to books instead of listening to music and this book talks about exactly this principle how small actions like learning python fundamentals every day for an hour or two can have a huge impact on your life and your success but you just have to do this one simple step every day do an hour of python fundamentals and see how it will change in a month or two stop building bad habits in your life doing useless shit instead start to think how you can cut out bad habits and focus on small habits that will actually change your life over longer periods of time and if you're struggling to make any progress on your own and you kind of feel like you don't know what type of python projects you could build or what exactly you should learn to get a job as a python developer send me a message send me an email explaining your situation and i will see if i can do anything to help you out